Hello! So if you've been following along with our channel, we are currently making a borrower's house in an old grandmother clock. And in today's video, we will be turning a box into a borrower's bookshelf for the living room, which will be coming up as a video very soon. And then I've got some left over to make a cupboard at the bottom of the borrowed cupboard. So it's got um, sort of dimensions here, but I'm going to leave that as the top because I quite like how that looks. So we're going to have. How deep do we want the cupboards? Maybe not too deep, just like that, like a little cupboard at the bottom. Mm. Yeah, and I think we probably want it to be about halfway through. for shelves. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have one openable shelf. There it is. And then hopefully got enough for couple of shelves. So again, how deep? I just like that. Like that, and then second one. I made a Welsh dress I was supposed to have put this. Yes, I have. Um, I might try and use I might try and use these as um, things that help hold the shelf up. Because they're already kind of the right shape. Unless I make it slightly narrower shelf. Mm. It just feels like it needs some sort of 
detail. Oh, I do need a some doorknobs and yeah, just do we want another shelf? Make it more like a bookshelf and not a Welsh dresser. Does a thimble fit on? Yes, maybe we do. Maybe we want this as a, another shelf. The more shelves, the more space we have to put things on. That does stand. Okay. I might do that. Okay. About here, I'd say. It's good for the top shelf. And yeah, about there. So I have my first little gathered collection of <laughs> random bits to try and make some things for the shelf. Um, also a bunch of plastic flowers. So I think I'll start with, this is an empty paracetamol packet I think. And it's got a lovely the little plastic domes. There's all sorts of things you can do with these. But I think if I can get one without any do it gently. That's a good one I think. That's a good one I think. I'm going to cut this out. So, and then with these plastic flowers, are these bits too big to go behind it? Hmm. So I'm going to try and make something a bit like one of these, which is like a Victorian taxidermy frame. <laughs> Pretty random. Ah, there you go. <laughs> what a very random thing to start with. Let's see. This is usually reserved for paper, but I can't find a scalpel or a Stanley knife. So here it is at the moment. So from this big bunch of fake flowers, I have cut out this tiny little section and I'm hopefully going to, I'm going to stick it behind the glass dome. It needs a dark color behind it. I'm probably going to do it round. I'm going to do a round frame. Okay. 
probably should have drawn a shape. <laughs> it's not going to be perfectly round, but hey, it's the borrowers. It's not supposed to be. Oh, it's not even remotely wrapped. <laughs> okay. Let's glue, let's glue this in first. Do I then stick it on one like that, or do I leave it as a as a round thing? I think I might leave it as a round thing. So let's glue it onto this shape. Nope. Premature. I need to colour. I need to make this different colour. I think I'm going to try and make it sort of a deep green behind it. Hmm, maybe I'll just paint it green because it's going to be dark anyway. I think I'll just do green. Slightly darker and mix in a dark brown. I can make it. Sort of a forest green. Do I want the frame to be that colour too, is the question. I was going to do sort of dark. No. I am now thinking I probably should have painted the frame before I put the glass dome onto it, but... Oh well, it is done now. dark brown hopefully this will look good <laughs> when it's finished vision is clear. <laughs> this is going to be one of the most involved things. Lots of the other things will just be found tiny objects that I feel a borrower might put on a bookshelf. I'll get mum to help with that bit.
going to stick this down in the middle so it doesn't side about once it's inside the frame. Without sticking it to my fingers. actually well it depends we'll see how thick it is so I probably should have done it on paper maybe I should have done the back on paper to cut this little bit just a little bit more to make the back of the frame just a little bit I then have an old, um, this is from some little resin that um, we used, so it's a little like a toothpaste cap and I have this frippery from a fancy Christmas cracker. So I thought I would try and make a little houseplant. So, first of all I think, mm, do I paint the pot? No, I don't think I will because that's what it is. Um, and then it should just be a simple case. <laughs> I say, it should just be a simple case of. Um, yeah, like. Making it look good. <laughs> antique beads that we have found on beaches and in woodlands. Not all of them, some of them. Um, I wonder if, as if it's a tiny little pot for their pins, a little clay pot for pins. That's just a cute thing, difficult. We need clutter. I don't know what it is, but it's Those clutter. holding their pins. Yeah. Mm. I've got an old earring that's broken that I'm going to sort of hang. I've got some beautiful gifted cane beads that I wonder if there's a way we can use somehow. It's really difficult. But I think I should, I should paint, I'm going to paint, oh, knobs. Need. This is the smallest bottle we've ever found, <laughs> it's still too big. <laughs> yes, it is, <laughs> unfortunately. Right the top. A little wooden souvenir elephant? Yes, yeah, Indian. Um, but I need, we need knobs. 
but this is not it. So I think why I'm struggling to put things on it is because I think it just looks a bit bright. So I'm going to dry brush to age it down a bit. And I say me, I think mum's going to do it. I've not done dry brushing really before. So. because it's got not a lot of texture but it is working then. This is be along the edges mm -hmm. would be dirty. And you could layer the and ins in. Yeah and inside the shelf. Okay yeah. Yeah you know what I do? Yeah. You just dob it. Dob. Thank you. Things like this is an alley gob or a gobby, a jack or a five stone. It's a Victorian games piece and we find them a lot on beaches and it looks a bit like books so I can imagine it's the kind of thing the borrowers might snatch. I do have some vintage transfers so I'm thinking I might put them on the doors I think and I think I want to go for Two of these ones. I absolutely adore these and I would like some full sized ones in the future. Unfortunately, they can't be facing opposite ways. And they're a bit wonky, but I kind of feel like it's all part of the look. Nope. Not ready yet. Not good enough yet. No. Nope, nope, nope. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's sponge it. The first one went really well, and then as soon as I started filming... I'm just going to have to lose that bit of the flower. Hmm. Does it look good? Hmm. Well, we'll see once it's all together. So I need some buttons as doorknobs. Such as these, I think. I have to make a little latch or something for that, I think. I knew that was going to happen. Too much. Or it's like scissors. They are. <laughs>
cute. Which number? Three. <laughs> this is a spy hole. We got it with a lot, didn't we? We thought it was a tiny, tiny telescope, telescope for a doll's a house. Hole. But it's actually a peep hole. So this is the kind of thing that they would use as a telescope. It is, yeah. And it's very beautiful. Shall I have it open or closed? Maybe open, I think, maybe. An angle? Yeah. Like that? Does that look a bit weird? Oh, it looks good. They would have useful things on their shelves. They would do. Looks really cute. I like the different scales. Where'd the thimble go? Where'd the thimble go there? Maybe try it up. Next to the dice, or on the bottom shelf. I think get lost on the... Yeah, it looks good there. So I'm going to better stick this with the wax, but... Yeah, that's not going to stick. Where should we put the pot of pins? So you put the feather in front of... The Can you wax a feather? I don't know. We'll soon find out. It's a bit flattened now though because it's waxed. But oh well. Almost looks like one of those tiny Victorian taxidermy sheep. Mm-hmm. Sort of angle? Yeah. Right, I should put the book there. And it covers up my hair. Yeah, no, maybe down here. Yeah. Wheelbarrow there. Almost looks a bit like an incense burner, the, the bead with the. <laughs> <laughs> or a, a reed diffuser. <laughs> doesn't have to be filled, does it? No. I mean, put the candle. Ah, I might wax that in now. Yeah, and we still might find things. Between now and building, making the living room. That there or there? Maybe up there. Oh, it looks cute though. It does, doesn't it? I haven't really seen it before. <laughs> Different angle. Oh. Sunny's eyeing up the shelf. No. Sunny! Sunny. That almost feels like that should be on a hook. Yeah. Somewhere, is it? There is the completed bookshelf, ready to go into its new home in the living room, which will be coming out soon. So if you did enjoy and you'd like to see that, you can subscribe down below. It is free and it really helps the channel. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you soon. <laughs>